Hello and welcome to the VBA Jetpack course by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video we will learn how to use for next loop in VBA in Excel. So let's get started. Here I have a workbook with the name for next.xlsm and I have these five numbers 1 to 5 in cell A1 to A5. And I've already inserted this module in the VBA editor and this is where we would be writing the code. So let first start a sub which would be for next loop and let's also declare a variable here which would be counter so dim counter as integer and now let's talk about the syntax of for next statement so here what we do is in for we would have something called as a counter now it necessarily not be counter it could be any variable any name it could be say i is equal to something or counter is equal to something or my cell count is equal to something and here I would say it's equal to one two five and I would have the next counter statement so this is a variable you can have the name counter you can have any uh, number any uh, variable name anything that you want here and it would vary from this number from 1 to 5 and in between I would have the code and then it comes to next counter and then it would go back again till this condition is met and let's say that the code here is active cell dot offset 1 comma 0 dot select so what I'm trying to do here is I am going through this loop and I would execute this statement it would check whether uh, the counter is is more than 5 when it is more than 5 it would exit the loop here so uh, let's run this I would press F8 here as of now counter is equal to 0 when I press F8 again counter becomes 1 and this line is executed when I press F8 again it comes to A2 then it says next counter it goes up again counter becomes 2 this line is executed again and then again again and again and as of now counter is 5 now in next counter it becomes 6 when I press F8 and as soon as I do that it goes out of the loop because now counter is equal to 6 but in this case we said it should be 1 to 5 so this is how you can use for next loop in VBA in Excel now this necessarily not just get incremented by one you can change uh, the increment value here so let's say you want this to jump from one to three to five to seven instead of one two three four five so to do that we would use the keyword step two step two where two would be the increment number in this case it would be one then three then five then seven you can have any number here now let's see what happens when we run this code I would press F8 here counter is equal to 0 I press F8 again it becomes 1 this line is executed the uh, cursor goes to the next cell then it says next counter I press this it becomes 3 not 2 but 3 because now this is getting incremented by 2 then again it is executed now the counter becomes 5 the line is again executed and now the counter becomes 7 and then this exits the loop so it's not necessary that you have to have an increment by one you can have an increment based on the number that you specify now what if you don't want this to go from one to five what if you want to go this from say five to one so let's see what happens I type five to one but when you are going in a descending order you need to use step and the number and in this case it would be a negative number so here it would be minus 1 and then you can go from 5 to 4 to 3 to 1 let's see what happens when I run this code here counter is equal to 0 as of now and as soon as I press F8 it becomes 5 this line is executed next counter value becomes 4 and then 3 and then 2 and then 1 and then it exits and in the meantime it is doing what this cell uh, this statement says which is select the cell below it so this is how you can either increment it or decrement it based on what step value you choose now you can also exit for next loop prematurely uh, if you're using a condition and you can use the keyword exit for so let's say that I come to this cell I press F alt F11 and here I'm saying active cell dot offset one zero dot select and I would write a condition here and I would say if active cell dot value is equal to three then exit for and what this would do is it would 
go from this cell to this cell to this cell and it would check the value and if in case the value is 3 which would be this cell then it would exit the sub so exit the loop so let's go through this I would press F8 uh, as of now counter is equal to 0 I oops I need to change this to 1 to 5 sorry let's get out of the break mode and do this again counter is equal to 0 I go down counter becomes 1 this line is ex executed it becomes to a it comes to a2 then this condition is checked as of now active cell dot value is 2 which means this is false it goes to next counter and then it again comes to this line counter becomes 2 active cell is this cell and active cell value is equal to 3 now this condition is is matching and in this case it would jump to exit 4 so it jumps here and it exits the loop so this is how you can also use exit for condition uh, if you want to get out of the loop now one thing that I want to show here is that in this case we have this variable counter and we are keeping a check of the value of this counter because it is varying from 1 to 5 uh, what you can do is say you're running this code you can hover your mouse over it and it will show you the value but another way could be to add a watch window and you would see that I already have something called as watches window here let me close this and if you have this variable counter you can simply right click on it and go to add watch and when you click on it it opens this add watch dialog box you have counter this is the name of the variable this is the sub and this is the module and I want to add this watch expression so I would click OK and as soon as I do this it would have the expression which is counter it would have the value the current value of the variable the type which is integer and the context which is module 1 for next loop now let's see what happens when I run through this code I come here it and keep a check on this value it becomes 2 then it becomes 3 then 4 then 5 so you can keep a, a watch on all the variables in your sub or even across subs by using this watch window you can add these counters these uh, variables here and then you can real in real time see how these values are changing now uh, Now let me show you some more examples of using for next loop so let me uh, delete these and what we would do is I would come here and I would declare a couple of more variables one would be dim my range as range so this is an object variable let me make this capital and then I would say dim my range count as integer now what I'm trying to do here is I have these cells here and let me make these even more so I would drag this till 10 and what I'm trying to do here is I have this as my variable my object variable I would have this uh, object variable my range hold these cells and now I would use this object variable to go through these cells one by one and you can do this using the for next loop so what I would do here is I would set my range is equal to range a1 comma and here I would specify range A1 along with end Excel because I may not have control of, of how many records are there in this list so in this case I would use end Excel down and what this would do is it would specify this range with all these cells so I have my range and it would have it would hold all these cells if there are five cells then this would hold five cells if there are 50 then it would hold 50 I don't need to worry because I have made it a, a bit dynamic by using end Excel down and uh, I also have to give a value to this variable which is my range count so I would give my oops here I would come here I would say my range count is equal to my range dot count and what I'm doing here is my range has cells and I'm counting the number of objects in this object variable and count is a property that you would find in almost all uh, the object 
uh, objects or collection of objects that uh, exist in Excel. So in this case what I'm trying to do is my range has 10 cells and I'm counting the number. So my range count becomes 10 here. Now let's see what we can do with this. So what I would do here is I would say counter is equal to 1 to my range count which means it's 1 to 10 and here all I need to do is I need to show in message box these numbers so as I go through the loop I want to just display these numbers so what I would use is I would use my range and then within brackets I would type uh, counter which means that when we go through the loop as of now if it's say counter is equal to 1 this would be my range and in bracket it would be 1 which would refer to the first object of this uh, object collection and then when it goes to uh, the next loop counter becomes 2 and then my range 2 would refer to the second cell and then third cell and the fourth cell and so on so let's go through this sub quickly here I've set this uh, range this my range as this entire collection of cells then I have the count set and when I hover over it you can see it says 10 and now when I go through this counter is equal to 1 message box this becomes my range 1 and it shows 1 here and then I do this again it says 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so this is how you can use for next loop to loop through each cell now this is a very simple example but let's say that you are searching for something or you are maybe testing these values or you are using these in formulas then you can go through each cell and then maybe multiply it with a number use it in a formula or check it within a condition so you can do uh, this with a collection of objects using for next loop now I can also do the same thing using worksheets collection so let me delete everything from here and let me delete this as well and here I would say for count is equal to 1 to worksheets dot count worksheets dot count would give me the total number of worksheets in this workbook in this case there are three workbooks and I would simply say worksheets and then here I would say counter dot activate and then I would say next counter all I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to activate these worksheets one by one so let me go and select sheet 2 here and now go through this code so I would press F8 here counter is 0 as soon as I press F8 it becomes 1 here counter is 1 which means the first worksheet gets activated which means the leftmost worksheet gets activated so when I run this this becomes the active worksheet then I go through this again sheet 2 gets activated and then sheet 3 gets activated and then I go out of this so this could be a good way of doing this when say you want to protect all the worksheets or unprotect all the worksheets or maybe you want to delete all the worksheets or chart sheets then you can do this uh, you can also do the same thing using workbooks maybe you you want to close all the workbooks then you can use this so this is how you can use for next loop in VBA in Excel I hope you found this video useful thank you and have a nice day